for all of you who, like me, are hiding these babies, I want you to know that you are not alone. Genetics plays a role. Everyone in my family sweats. Weight, your gender. You know, a lot of things influence how much you sweat. And women, it turns out, have more sweat glands than men, even though men perspire more. So I know stress causes me to sweat like this. It plays a role in many of you as well. But there's some surprising reasons you sweat through your clothes. So I'm going to get to the first one. Meet Shabali. She's going to help me teach you a little bit about this. How are you? Good. So when do you sweat the most? Um, it can happen when I drink, when I chill with my friends, relaxing, when I'm texting. It happens regardless, any moment. Well, you mentioned drinking. Yes. That's one of the biggest surprising reasons that we sweat is when we're having wine or a cocktail. Does that ha and you mentioned that happens yes. to you. Mm -hmm. You ever yeah. wonder why that occurs? No, I was like wondering that too. <laughs> so it's very interesting. Alcohol has a very specific effect on the brain. Mm -hmm. It actually convinces the brain that you're hot. And so I want you to show everyone exactly how alcohol does that. So I have the alcohol, you have the water. So let's say you're doing what you're supposed to do in life by drinking yeah. a lot of water. Go ahead and pour the water into the body. And your brain senses that you're, it's cool because water is a very cooling fluid to have inside the body. But when you have a beer or wine, then guess what happens? The brain begins to think that you are hot. And when that happens, you begin to sweat because you're getting very clear signals sent to you. You see that happening? Yeah. That's what happens to so many of us. We start pouring the fluid out from our body. And unfortunately, even when it's not hot outside, when you drink, you feel like it's hot. So in Times Square on New Year's Eve, there are folks who are sweating. Mm -hmm. I mean, how is that possible, folks? It's possible because they've been drinking, they're not wearing jackets, and they're pouring fluid out of their body because their brain is confused. So the good news is you can enjoy your cocktails, uh, but you got to have a glass of water between each cocktail to convince the brain that you actually are cool as you really are. Got it. Thank you Perfect. very much. All right. Another reason you're sweating. Meet Faith. Hello. May I ask you a personal question? Well, how personal? I'm too personal for national television, but there's a benefit to answering the question. Okay. What kind of bra are you wearing? I don't know, a normal one, I guess. A normal bra. <laughs> All right, so if you're wearing a normal bra, there are different kinds of bras, right? They have different kinds of material in them. Okay. What kind is yours? The material, do you know? Stretchy. Stretchy. Yeah. So cotton doesn't stretch, which is the main point I was going to make. There are some people who are sweating because of their bras. And it's the fabric of the bra that's sabotaging you. So we'll do a little experiment. Okay. So go ahead and we've, I know you've dipped your hand in this iodine here, right? Yeah. This is a test we do in hospitals, by the way. So you, now go ahead and put it in that, that soda, baking soda over there. Okay. And you've got two sets of going to them together. Yeah, okay. okay. Now, in the hospitals, we do this to see how people's sweat systems are working. So I've got a cotton glove here. Let okay. me help you. Gown. I'll be your scrub nurse. Fantastic. Good. Oh, okay. And I've got a nylon glove over here. Great. Put this on this fan. Okay. Okay, there. Link. There we are. Now, as you put this glove on, burn. Now, I want you to put your hands up against the lamp. So don't get too close so you don't burn yourself. Okay. All right? But you feel the heat? Yeah. So as you feel the heat, the hand that's in the synthetic material, the nylon, which is what many of our bras are made out of, will begin to sweat. Many of our bras? Well, I don't wear bras anymore. <laughs> I've given them, I've cut way back on bras. All right? And when that happens, the iodine will change color. Oh, yeah. So it's a little tip that we have. I can even see it now. You begin to show through the glove. Yeah. So go ahead and take your gloves off. Okay. Take this one off first. Let's see what normally happens. So Thank you, doctor. We've just put this one there. Okay. That's a pretty normal little yeah. bit of iodine, not too much. Now watch what happens here when you've sweated. Oh, no. You all see the difference there? Yeah. I mean, a big difference in sweating just because of the material you're wearing. So, so we don't often pay attention to the fabric, but from that one with bras, both of us should purchase ones that are a little bit more breathy. All right? Can we go together? Yes, we'll go together. Great. All right. Finally, <laughs> one more surprising reason you sweat. Sean does here. Which of these shelves do you think might be causing your sweating? So we have soaps and shampoos in the top shelf, antiseptics and first aid ointments and the like, and colds and flu remedies and medications. I'm going to go with the safe answer and say all of them will make you sweat, but I would say maybe the shampoo because I know that these things down here dry you out, so I would think that it would be less than there. When you shampoo your hair, do you sweat a lot? Um, I would say I do, yeah. Must be in a hot shower. I love hot showers. <laughs> right. <laughs> surprising answer, and it's a medically sound one, is actually the third category, cold and really? flu remedies. Now, you might think they're being used to dry up some parts of your body, right. but they have the opposite effect, and that's the side effect of, of sweating. Wow. Uh, and when you talk about the general skin. And so there's two ingredients in particular you want to look for in these cold and flu remedies if you want to avoid that kind of sweating. The first is pseudoephedrine, which you've all heard of, right? Yes. Dries up nasal cavities. Mm -hmm. Again, the same chemical process stimulates sweating elsewhere. And oxymetalazoline. So if you want to stay wow. really dry this season, you might want to avoid them if you can. Okay, I will. Be sure to subscribe.